Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the Ozark Trail 5-in-1 multi-tool. The item is currently new by Walmart. Uh, this item was hiding in the camping section. It's not with the sporting goods in the, together with the other knives, so I may did not see it uh, for a while. Uh, Ozark Trail is a brand from Walmart. Uh, we have a 5-in-1 multi-tool, 3.5 inch uh, folding blade, a stainless steel glass breaker, cord cutter and belt clip is on it as well. Uh, as the item is in the packaging we see the little uh, parts there, so the fire starter part is below here and the flashlight part is up there. On the back side uh, we see some more information, aluminium handle, uh, the warning of course and uh, here is the cutout for the pocket clip. Uh, there is also a bit of information about the little flashlight to remove this plastic sheet before using. Uh, Walmart.com is the website and of course it's made in China. Uh, this is a rather low budget item, uh, so I did want to try that out uh, to see how well it will be and surprisingly it's pretty good. Uh, it's uh, The negative first, it's a bit smooth on that blue uh, part, that aluminum part, uh, that I'm gonna texture, spray paint and uh, then put it in a matte black finish so that it gives a bit more traction in the hand. Uh, that's pretty much all what is negative with that with that item for that uh, price. I would say it's a typical uh, toolbox uh, knife that has a bit of twist to it with having uh, more functionality. Uh, the blade is a combo edge. We see a bit of serrated part and then a plain edge. Uh, this sample here came pretty sharp out of the box. On top we have the cutout for the bottle opener. Uh, then we have only a single side thumb stud. It's uh, not removable, it's pressed in there like a rivet. Uh, so that is only for right hand use. Uh, then top feature here is the flashlight. That thing is magnetic. Uh, that it sticks inside here. And uh, the magnet is not that that strong, but that works in that blue anodized uh, housing. Uh, then on the bottom we have a liner lock. In this case here it's pretty good adjusted. As the knife is in the, the plastic, as you watch a bit from the side you see that if it's adjusted uh, correct, like in this case here, or uh, not. Uh, as best as I remember I did try out like three different of those and they all were adjusted like this one pretty good. But that is one point that you can check if it's uh, too much over on the upper liner that is not good. So the, the liner lock on this knife is pretty good made. On the back side we have a pocket clip. A uh, simple, simple one with three screws. Uh, screws quite likely don't have a, a Loctite on it, so that is something that I would uh, change uh, if I would use it in a more more uh, harder way. The liners are stainless steel too, and we have a stainless steel backspace that is uh, formed a bit like a glass breaker. Uh, with such items quite likely it's only going to last for one window. Uh, not for uh, too many windows, that's gonna flatten out, uh, but at least it's there. Then on top, that bigger cut out there, uh, we have a razor blade that they put on. Uh, that's a simple and working solution for a, for a belt cutter or a cord cutter, whatever you wanna use that fits the maximum size of that channel, which is about six seven millimeters it's pretty pretty big for what it is and on top here we have that part that is a little bit sticky there is no magnetic inside so that sticks just with uh, with the plastic part 
Uh, this is a feral road, so you can use that for starting fire. Uh, the quality of the road is quite likely not the best. I did not yet uh, try that one out as I have other other such uh, roads. Uh, would be replaceable, quite likely it's just in there with a bit of glue. Uh, again this is a, a low budget uh, knife and it's not that, that uh, expensive. In the front we have the flashlight. Uh, that is of course a deal that is not absolute bright. Uh, we have inside, as we simply unscrew the item, uh, a deal like that and there we see that white plastic uh, thing that will uh, be needed to remove. There we have it, battery is now free. It's a deal of those tiny coin cells LR621 it is. It's quite likely going to be hard for the camera to uh, to see. Uh, three, as best as I see, four pieces actually are together in that plastic thing and that going to go in there and the whole deal just uh, screws back on. They put on a rubber o-ring so it's at least a little bit watertight and we get a light it's not much, but at least it's a light. Runtime is quite likely not, not uh, too good either. It's a simple twisty. And the good thing is that as that thing is in the knife, you can actually uh, leave it on and you see a bit where you cut or where you do something without uh, using two hands. So all in all, pretty nice. You can also use the bottle opener, of course, in the closed knife position to hold the thing a bit better, so you're not gonna cut yourself. So, all in all, for the price, pretty nice, except for the too smooth uh, blue anodized uh, aluminium cover that they put on. So, Ozark Trail makes more and more different products, also flashlights I saw. And uh, yeah, it's it's more low budget, but uh, it's still something. So far, I did not have a single knife from Ozark Trail that were not good. I saw some at the store that I did not buy that had the line lock uh, badly adjusted. But if you watch that, then uh, that is not much that can go wrong. Also, Walmart has the warranty. You can bring it back and get another one if you want. So that much about the... Ozark Trail 5-in-1 multi-tool.